All right, it is the morning of the Houston 25K. This is part of the Houston Marathon training series. And this is 25K, which is 15.5 miles. And I did the half marathon a few weeks back. So I did that time in about two hours and 19 minutes. So for this race, this is gonna be two more miles, 2.3 more miles. Uh, I think my goal is going to be sub three hours. That should be a good goal because I am training for a 50 miler in December. So I still have that to work towards. I don't want to hurt myself. Right now we're picking up our packets early in the morning uh, here in downtown Houston. Packets. I had to go back to the car to put my shirt back in, but it is a warmer morning than the half marathon. The half marathon was like in the 50s. Right now we're starting off in the 70s. So this is my good number, 1366. We got another 13 more minutes. The race starts. I think this is going to be a smaller race than the half marathon. Doesn't look like it's going to be as big. Uh, 13 more minutes to go. And then we start. Right under 11:20 pace so far. I think my goal for this race is going to be sub three would be nice, but I think three to 3:15 in that area is more realistic. It's a little bit warmer and humid. I'm really sweating a lot, so we'll see how it goes. And this is a uh, three loop course. We're gonna go up and down this thing three times before we're done. 15.5 miles. So we got 14 more to go. Probably gonna readjust my pace. I think 11.30. 12, it's gonna be more realistic for today. So that's what I'll try to get. Yeah, yeah. Alright, heading back. Alright, that was mile three. 1130 pace. That's about the pace I want to keep it at. 11.30 to 12, I'll be, uh, I don't know if they're 10K runners or 15K, but they're passing us now. Alright guys, it's uh, 45 minutes in. I'm going to try out this Martin gel. These are like pro gels or something like that. I went at a on the run giveaway. So let's check it out. That's like gully. Like jam. Just tastes like sugar and electrolytes. No real flavor. Yeah. Not very good. I give that a uh, two out of five for the taste. Just past four miles, almost gonna make the turnaround. I 
had to take off my shirt. It is uh, too warm. So you get a shirtless, chubby Goku for the rest of this video. But it feels a ton better. It's just past like seven and a half, a little more. So halfway point of the race, averaging about 11.30 to 11.40, somewhere in between that. Probably a little faster, but not much to get warm. But it's a lot better with my shirt off. There was a U-turn back there for the 5Kers, and it looks like a lot of people took it, and I don't think they were supposed to, so that sucks. We're almost at this turnaround. Just about five mile loops on average, right under an hour for each loop. We'll see. Thank you. Just hitting mile nine. This is a quiet course. Definitely one I should have brought my aftershocks for. There's like nobody on the course except at the uh, end, but that's not it. Just us in open streets, pretty quiet. Every once in a while, I'll have me talking. Uh, that quiet race. Yeah, you too. It's gonna strong. And there's other runners to cheer you on, like that dude who's finishing up his race. Everybody's trying to keep to the right side of the road because the sun's out. And there's some shade over here. I just hit mile 10, slowing down a little bit. I took some goo a little early, uh, walked to that water stop. 5.5 more miles to go. I'm gonna walk up this thing. So, right now, if I uh, keep going, I think three, sub 310 is possible. If I don't take too many walk, walk breaks to the end, I'm feeling it though. The 5.5, where to go? There's uh, downtown Houston. Second loop done, one more to go. This is gonna be a tough one. Thank you guys. This is gonna be a tough one. Whew. Pretty much two more miles to go, 2.33 on the watch. So, pretty good time for a half, I guess. But I want to go full distance. So, what this is telling me is that I need to train a little bit more for my marathon. And for my 50 miler, I'm going to have to implement a uh, run walk strategy to go a little bit slower. Because 50 miles is a long way. And, uh, I did go a little fast. I'm not going to go this fast for a 50 mile for sure. But two more miles to go. Just have to go all the way back down. And we are there. Mile 14. Slowed down pretty good. 1240 last mile. Got one more mile to go. 1.5 more mile to go. So that's still a pretty good distance. Uh, sub 310 probably possible. Just gotta stop walking and talking to y'all. I just stop walking, I can talk and run. One thing that will help your spirits is to talk to somebody. If I'm talking to you guys, 
talking to another runner. That's how they're doing. It helps. Let's go. Downtown's right ahead of me. I just gotta make it there. Let's get my goal. Sub 310. Goals change. Big turn race. Sub 310. Whew. This last mile is ugly. I'm struggling. 14.95. Downtown's right there. Aquarium is right there. We're almost done. I just can't really run too much. The sun is hot. It's humid. And I'm going to say, so, come on, come on, Jeremy, come on, come on. What's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy? How's it going to be, This is Sanjeev. I've been pacing off him for this whole 15 day. Now we're going to finish it, finish it strong to the end. We got like 0.2 miles left. Yep. It is all downhill. That's the finish line. That's very fun. Good job.